Welcome back to Online Family Storytime. My name is Miss Katie, and I'm glad to be back with you this week. We took a little break, and now we're back and ready to go. So we're pulling out an oldie but a goodie. We're going to start with bread and butter, marmalade and jam. So let's get started. If you don't know it, you'll catch on. We're going to repeat it a lot, okay? So here we go. Start with putting in your legs, and clap, hit, clap, hit. Got it? All right. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as quiet as we can. Hello. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as loud as we can. Hello. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as Low as we can. Hello. <laughs> Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as high as we can. Hello. <laughs> Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as fast as we can. Hello. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as slow as we can. Hello. <laughs> Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as nice as we can. Hello, friends. Welcome, welcome, welcome to story time online still. Well, let's jump right into it. Shall we check the mailbox and see what our letter is today? I'm excited. Hmm, our first clue, a person wearing a hat. Hat. Hmm. Our second clue, who's that little guy? That's Humpty Dumpty. Hmm, Humpty Dumpty. And a heart. Actually, it's more like the center of your chest. Heart. All right, so we have a heart, Humpty Dumpty, and a hat. Ha, ha, ha. What makes a ha sound? You think about it, and I'm going to check. Here's our letter. Are we decided what letter makes a ha, ha, ha sound? Mm-hmm. I think you're right. It's a... H. H is our letter today. H makes a ha, ha, ha sound. Hello. <laughs> Let's put it up on the letter tree and sing our alphabet. Well, there we go. Our letter H is hanging out on the letter tree with the other letters. Now we're going to sing our ABCs. And remember, Miss Katie is going to sign along with the American Sign Language alphabet while we sing. All right, so here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Bravo! Well done, my friends. Well done. Now, who is ready for a story? If you're ready for a story, go and clap your hands. Clap your hands, 
Clap your hands if you're ready for a story. Go and clap your hands. Clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, then stomp your feet. Stomp your feet. Stomp your feet. If you're ready for a story, go and stomp your feet. Stomp your feet. If you're ready for a story, then sit so still. Sit so still. Sit so still. If you're ready for a story, then sit so still. Sit so still still. All right, are you ready for a story? You're sitting still? Great. Today's story is I Want My Hat Back by John Clausen. My hat is gone. I want it back. Have you seen my hat? No, I haven't seen your hat. Okay, thank you anyway. Have you seen my hat? No, I have not seen any hats around here. Okay, thank you anyway. Have you seen my hat? No, why are, we ask why are you asking me? I haven't seen it. I haven't seen any hats anywhere. I would not steal a hat. Don't ask me any more questions. Okay. Thank you anyway. What's that on his head? I think he might be lying. Have, have you seen my hat? I haven't seen anything all day. I've been trying to climb this rock. Would you like me to lift you on top of it? Yes, please. Have you seen my hat? I saw a hat once. It was blue and round. My hat doesn't look like that. Thank you anyway. Have you seen my hat? What is a hat? Thank you anyway. Nobody has seen my hat. What if I never see it again? What if nobody ever finds it? My poor hat. I miss it so much. What's the matter? I lost my hat. And nobody has seen it. What does your hat look like? It's red and pointy and... I have seen my hat. He goes running. Where do you think he's running to? Aha! You! You stole my hat! I love my hat. Excuse me, have you seen a rabbit wearing a hat? No. Why are you asking me? I haven't seen him. I haven't seen any rabbits anywhere. I would not eat a rabbit. Don't ask me any more questions. Okay, thank you anyway. The end. That was a silly book. Poor Bear just wanted his hat back. And Rabbit stole his hat. Then what did Bear do to poor Rabbit? He ate him up, didn't he? Well, bears eat rabbits. So that's nature for you, I suppose. Probably shouldn't eat people that steal your hats, though. You should probably just tell a grown-up. Now it's time to make our heart craft. We're going to make learn how to make a heart out of paper. And you can use those because Valentine's Day is coming up in a couple weeks. So you need to start making your Valentines. I'm giving you a head start. You're welcome. For our craft today, we are going to make a heart hug bug. So we're going to make a bunch of hearts and we're going to put them together. And it's going to be a little 
Huggy Bug for Valentine's Day. So starting out, I'm going to teach you how to make a heart. You can do it a couple ways. I'm going to use glass so you can see. First one is you start in the center of your paper. You go around a curve and then you bring it right back down like that. That's one side. Now you can do it again on the other side. Same thing, home. Bring it in and voila. Now we have our heart and you can cut that out. But I have a secret trick that I like to use for hearts. Did you see how this side is a little different than that side? Which is fine. We love Wabi Sabi here. But if you want them to be exactly equal, you know what Miss Katie likes to do. Fold the paper in half. All right. Now we're just going to do half of the heart. So, all right, there's my heart half, right? Now we take our scissors. We follow along while it's folded in half. And, all right, are you ready for this? Ta-da! Perfectly symmetrical heart. Lovely. All right. We're going to need a big heart for the body, two heart hands, a couple strips of paper for arms. You can do legs too if you'd like. And we need antennae. So let's do our big heart. Out of what color do you think? Let's see. I'm going to do the big heart out of. White. Sure. You can make hearts whatever color you want. And then you can always color the heart if you make it out of white. Or if you have construction paper, you can make your hug bug out of whatever colored paper you want. All right, and I'm going to go footloose and fancy free since I've been doing this so long. You can go ahead and trace your hearts. I'm just going to go freehand. Here we go. Let's see how it turns out. Is Katie going rogue? All right, looks kind of like a teardrop, doesn't it? Raindrop. So then you open it up. Voila! Hit the heart. All right. So now the arms are going to be this color. Now I need two strips. So I'm going to fold this like so. And I'm going to fold it again. All right. Now, like I said, I'm just going to do arms because it's a hug bug and I want to focus on the arm part. But if you're feeling froggy and you want to uh, make arms and legs, go for it. Oh. I cut three. I was only meaning to cut two. I was talking to you guys and not paying attention to what I was doing. Ah, uh, well, I only need two, so I'll cut one. This way, if I mess up on one, I'll have a second one. All right. All right, so I just need two. I like those ones. This one's my backup. Now what we're going to do for the arms, I could just leave them, but we're going to make them fun. So we're going to fold them. That. So I'm going to about an inch. I really don't know what the 
measurement of the inches. About that much. And then you flip it over. And voila. And flip it over. Make an accordion type fold. See? So it's going to end up like that. So you just keep flip, fold, flip, fold, flip, fold, flip, fold, and a flip fold. All right, now it's going to be an accordion, see? Pretty cool, huh? And we're going to attach these to the back, and it's going to be the heart's arm. I'm going to attach another heart for its hand. I also want it to have antennae, because it's a bug. Remember, and bugs have antennas. So, I'm going to just do a couple strips of paper and little strips. All right, two strips. And you know what? I think I want to put purple hearts on top of those antennas too. I'm going to make them about yay big. All right, so I'm going to do this, fold it in half. And then, Fold in half like that. All right, see? I'm going to cut like that into my hearts. One heart. Brain drop. Two hearts. Hola. Oh. All right. Sorry, I have my antenna. I have my arm and my hand. I need to fold my other arm in my hand. Voila, I have my second arm done, thanks to the magic of recording. Now we're gonna start putting it together. All right, glue stick. A little glue on this guy. And then we're just going to stick it on there like that. Another glue. Try to line them up a little bit so they're across from each other. Voila. Now we need hands. More glue. There's one. More glue. There's two.
here. See, it's a hug. Hug. All right, antennae. Little blue. Okay. All right, I'm actually going to reinforce this one because it's kind of kind of a flimsy one, I tell you. It's going to stay up. We'll try. I'm going to double fold it though so it stays. It is kind of wobbly. And then more glue. And there. One there. Another reinforcement here. And glue here. Starting to come together. Uh oh, I glued, I glued them to the table. All right. Now for the eyeballs. Now you can do them however you want to. Use crayon, you can use googly eyes. However you want to do it. Now, like I said, you can do a face if you want, because we are making hug bugs, or you can write a message to your loved one However you want to do it. Or you can write a message on here as well. So, I'm just going to make a cute little face. With my crayon. One eyeball. Two eyeballs. And you know, your creation doesn't even need to have two eyeballs. Have four or seven. It'd be a hug a monster. It could be silly and cute with lots of eyeballs. That's kind of creepy. We're just gonna fill them all in. There we go. Mine is gonna have eyelashes. Eyelashes and a cute little heart nose. And a heart mouth. Kind of like a kitty cat mouth, isn't it? Hug a bug. You can also play peekaboo. Peekaboo. <laughs> well, I have fun with you this week, my friends. I'm glad to see you again, and we'll see you again next week. Have a fantastic day. See you later, alligator. And a wild crocodile. Not too soon, baboon. Bye bye, butterfly.